Dali also joins the upmarket active loudspeaker world and, like the others I have reviewed, it has its own interesting approach. Or rather approaches, like the integrated streaming and MQA. Danish audiophile loudspeaker industries, abbreviated to DALI, introduced the Callisto loudspeaker range almost a year ago. There is a floor stander, a monitor and a preamp streamer. In this review I look at the last two, let's see how they should be used. Each speaker only has one analog physical input to be connected over RCA cable to an analog preamp, DAC or streamer. Using the optional Sound Hub instead makes life a lot easier. It connects to both the speakers wirelessly, so you only need to connect the speakers to a mains outlet. You then can connect an analog source like a tuner over RCA, a TV over optical digital. A second optical connection can be used for, for instance, a CD player and an MP3 player or smartphone can be connected over a 3.5 mm jack cable or Bluetooth. Adding an optional Blue OS module brings music streaming from your computer, NAS or almost any streaming service plus internet radio. You then no longer need the CD player, although it still can be used of course, the MP3 player and the tuner, leaving you with a complete and elegant solution that can be controlled from an app on your smartphone, tablet or computer. A Bluetooth remote control lets you set power, volume and input, although the latter will hardly be needed as we see later on. Let's take a closer look at the speaker. It measures 392 by 200 by 321 mm and weighs 10.1 kilos. It is available in both black and white and uses a 165 mm wood fiber low mid driver and Dali's unique double tweeter setup with a 29 mm soft dome and a 17 by 45 mm ribbon tweeter. A two channel class DM provides the power. It has a nominal power of 2 times 30 watts but can generate up to 250 watts for 6 seconds. Since this is an actively crossed system, that is more than enough. On the rear there is an aerodynamically shaped port and a connector panel. On top the link connect button to pair up with the sound hub, the power input, the power switch, the analog input on RCA and a USB connector that is only used for service, like updating. Then there is an illuminated graphics representation that shows whether the speaker is supposed to reproduce the left or right channel. A press on the button changes sides easily. Dali speakers in general, including the Callistos, are designed to have the front panel parallel to the wall they are in front of, so no toe in or toe out. If you have no sound hub, you just connect the analog outputs of your source to the RCAs on the rear of the Callistos. You can change the volume by moving your finger over a sensitive track on top of one of the loudspeakers. The set volume is indicated by a row of LEDs along the bottom of the front. When the volume is set, all LEDs will switch off with the exception of one that indicates the speakers to be active. If the speakers are not used for 30 minutes, they will switch to standby automatically. The sound up is more than just the wireless connection box. It is a true digital preamplifier that also provides two analog inputs. It is elegantly shaped and will fit in most interior designs. But if you don't want to see it, that's no problem either. There are no speaker wires and it can be operated from a smartphone, tablet or laptop and by the Bluetooth remote. Thus placing it out of sight is no problem. It measures 300 by 200 by 75 mm and weighs 1.6 kilos. The front holds three buttons. A power button, a mute button and an input button that steps through the inputs. The bezel around the display functions as a volume control. The display shows the volume level and the selected input, Bluetooth in this case. Time to look at the rear. There we find 
on the right a USB for service purposes that can also be used to power a USB device like for instance a Chromecast audio. Then the power input to connect the wallboard power supply to, two optical inputs, an SPDIF input, a 3.5 mm analog input for for instance an MP3 player or a Chromecast audio and an analog input on RCA. On the left a stereo analog output on RCA plus a subwoofer output on RCA. Above the connectors two slots for optional modules. Only one is yet available, a Blue OS module that adds the functionality of a Blue Sound No. 2 including MQA to the sound hub. This module has a network connector and two USB connectors. One USB can hold the supplied Wi-Fi dongle, the other can be used for storage devices. A mini USB for service purposes has no use for the user. In between the slots the link connector button that is used for pairing up with the speakers. The sound hub connects to the speakers over radio waves that carry the I2S signal up to 96 kHz sampling and is completely lossless. Pairing the speaker to the sound hub is a matter of pressing the pairing button on the rear of the sound hub and when it is ready for pairing, sequentially pressing the same knob at each callisto and wait for a couple of seconds. As soon as you connect a play in source, the sound hub will automatically switch on. It will also switch to that input as long as it sees no signal on the other inputs. The only exception is the mini jack that has no auto sensing. So as long as you keep unused sources switched off and do not use the mini jack input, you never have to select inputs. The review sample of the sound hub had the Blue OS module installed which was very convenient since it also functions as a Rune endpoint. But you don't need to buy Rune to use the Blue OS module for you can stream music from your computer, NAS, internet radio or streaming service using the free Blue OS app on a tablet, smartphone or computer. Here the version for iPad. If you tap the home icon in the top right corner you see the Blue OS players in the network. In my case the Blue Sound Note 2i and the NAD T758 version 3 AV receiver next to the callisters on review here. Tap the hamburger menu in the top left corner and you see all sources. Now due to my work the Blue OS system is loaded with several internet radio services and about any streaming service available. A number of them are of course only accessible when you have a paid subscription like Cobus and Tidal. Let's go to my music collection holding about 120,000 tracks. Browsing on Artist, Album, Composer, Genres and even Folder is offered. Calm Radio offers well indexed access to internet radio stations. Access to Tidal and Cobus is quick provided you have a proper functioning internet connection. Play a track and you see what is played in the play queue on the right. That can be made full screen too and you can make the cover art column wide. Here also the MQA logo appears when playing MQA tracks. The full Callisto installation with Blue OS edition is fully Rune certified and does both decoding and rendering in the sound hub. This would normally not be possible but in this case since it is a closed system the sound hub knows the time behavior of the DA conversion in the Callistos and thus can compensate for it. As mentioned earlier the volume can be controlled from the app, the remote control, the volume knob on the front of the sound hub and by touching the sensitive strip at the top of the loudspeakers. Dali have wisely resisted pumping up the mid lows to impress the unsuspecting listener. They rather used the digital processing to make the real low frequencies more powerful. To do that a very good driver is needed. Their unique base driver uses Dali's soft magnetic compound in the pole piece. Visit their website if you want to know more.
It's really interesting technology. It makes the unit very efficient with lower distortion due to mechanical loss. Combine that with their unique tweeter setup and you get a speaker that sounds clear, airy, spacious, refined and yet powerful. Whether the sound of the speaker is up to your taste, you only can judge. The sound character is somewhere in between the Elac Navis ARB51 on the silky side and the Dynaudio CO20 on the zappy side for lack of a better word. I also like that with the Callistos no toe in or out is needed. Just have the front of the speakers parallel to the wall behind them for the best imaging. Buy a pair of Callisto 2Cs, the Sound Hub and the Blue OS module and you have a complete stereo that can work almost automatically where input selection is concerned. You can hook up your TV, game console or any analog or digital source you like. Your smartphone, tablet or laptop can also be connected over Bluetooth if the wires are a hassle. You can also use these devices to control the Blue OS module as we have seen. And all this for less than 4000 euros including VAT, which in my country is 21%. That might be a lot of money to you, but I consider it the best buy if you consider the sound quality, ease of use and elegance of the system. You can't hide loudspeakers, but you can hide the sound up if you like. Next week I will try to get another review online and if you don't want to miss that, subscribe to this channel or follow me on the social media so you know when new videos are out. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Many thanks to all that support the channel financially. It keeps me independent and thus trustworthy. If you also feel like supporting my work, links are in the comments below this video on YouTube. I'm Hans Beekhuizen, thank you for watching and see you in the next show or on the hbproject.com. And whatever you do, enjoy the music.